Hey everyone, Teresa Sigmund here. Thanks so much for joining me in my kitchen today where I'm going to share with you quick, easy tips so you can make your own flesh-colored elastic because it's one of those items that we often need for skate and dance dresses but are almost impossible to find. So let me give you a quick rundown of what you need. Now, a couple of things you wanna have handy is a pot preferably a pot with a lid, just in case you need to store your dye and come back to it. It does not have to be a very big pot. Um, you want to have gloves handy, either dishwashing gloves or, you know, like the kind of gloves that doctors wear, either is perfectly fine. You want to have some scrap towels handy in case you spill or splash, which is very easy to do with elastic. Um, if you have, um, really delicate counters such as gr uh, granite or marble or anything that would stain, make sure you cover it with plastic and or very thick towels. If you have rugs on your kitchen floor, move them if you like them <laughs> because heaven forbid you splash on them and ruin them. Next, you will want to have um, some wooden spoons or tongs or some type of utensils that you can use to stir the elastic. All right, next, um, actual dyes. There are several kind of dyes, but for dyeing elastic, I really like RIT dye. I do not like RIT dye for a lot of other items, like for dyeing lace or fabrics, because the, the colors aren't great enough, but for dyeing elastic, this combination is perfect. So if this is tan, tangerine, and cocoa for darker skin tones. Now tan is something that you would dye for, you know, somebody that's ghostly white, kind of like me. <laughs> However, for that fake tan color, which is so common in the dance sport world, you would want to combine tan and tangerine. And I might do two thirds, one third, or two thirds, one quarter. Um, it, it depends. You can sort of test, do a little test. For darker skin tones, you can either use straight cocoa, or if you happen to have a lot of red or pink in your skin, then you might want to add in about 50% tangerine. Mostly the cocoa is going to overpower this, but you can play around with your ratios and do a test. It's only elastic, so you're not out a whole lot if it doesn't work. Now you can um, take, as you're dyeing it, take a hank of elastic or do several yards or meters, make it worth your while. Then once you have unfurled this into a very large mess <laughs> and you have heated up your water, take your RIT dye, pour it in here, mix it really, really, really well wet your elastic. If you want to do a test, you can. Um, if not, you know, it's, it's just a little bit of elastic. It's just a few dollars worth. But make sure you do wet this and you have your gloves on and all your counter space clean. Toss your elastic in. It's going to want to float to the surface. The water should be hot enough that even with your gloves, it's too hot to put your hands in. Tongs. <laughs> and stir your spaghetti so that as it's in the pot, it doesn't want to um, rise to the surface. You wanna keep it submerged. Generally, um, I, I have discovered that hot water deteriorates the elastic and makes it not as strong as it used to be. So I like to make a very strong batch of color, like a really strong cup of tea, and then only leave the elastic in there for three or four minutes. Five at most, pull it out, rinse it, wash it really well, follow the directions here, you know, according to washing and rinsing. And then once you can safely handle all of that, hanger, take a regular old hanger and just wildly <laughs> drape it all over the hanger. And by then it, would, it won't matter if you splash everywhere because you will have already rinsed out the color Oops, and you're gonna end up fighting with this nonsense just like this. It's just a crazy mess. And then literally hang it somewhere and let it dry um, in your tub or whatever, just in case it does have a little bit of drips, but that's it. Once this has dried, you can then either just keep it in a 
plastic baggie like I had here, or you could be very tidy and roll it up on a spool, whatever works for your needs. Now, another quick tip, as, um, as you wear the elastic, you know, over the shoulders, it will, the color fades. So this will, does eventually fade. So your touch up should be makeup just an economical liquid foundation that matches your skin tone, whatever skin tone that is, and go over the straps. So if you tan, or sometimes tan, sometimes don't, that's sort of an easy way to do it. Um, you can also use a powder foundation on it if you want. Um, the foundation does tend to wear off after several wearings, so reapply as needed to keep it the color that you want. And, I do believe that is my quick tip on that. I hope you have found value for this. I know flesh colored elastic can be a little tough to find, if at all possible. So please don't go dyeing your elastic alone. Share this video with your all your dancing, skating, sewing friends. And if you have not already done so, please go to sewlikeapro.com. Sign up to receive my blog so that you never miss one of these awesome, easy tips that you can use at any time. And leave me a comment below. Tell me if you have dyed elastic, did it work, did it not work? Do you have any other tips for maintaining the color, such as, you know, like I said with makeup, what do you have for a tip that works great for you to help maintain your flesh-colored elastic to match your skin tone? That's it for me. Thank you so much for joining me. I will talk to you again another time. <music>